Remember we had a video on top 10 transformations? Well, guess what? Here we go with the transformations again. 10 wasn't nearly enough to cover all of the epic transformation that anime's gifted us for the past few decades, so why don't we have a second go at it? Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Don't lose your For a show that deals with clothing so much, I kind of wonder how it took two volumes of this list to include an entry from Kill la Kill. For much of the series, we've known the two characters as mortal enemies. Contrasting each other, they're seemingly built to be rivals. However, as the story heads towards the climax, Ryoko and Satsuki have patched things up and find themselves standing side by side for the final battle. This is one of the coolest transformation scenes in the show, given how it symbolizes their newfound sisterhood and bond. Plus, who doesn't like Kill la Kill's fan service transformation sequences? This is definitely a top moment of the show, especially with Don't Lose Your Way blaring in the back as the sisters transform into their ultimate forms. <laughs> Ninth on the list is something that's probably still fresh on the minds of the show's fans, Atsushi's transformation in the finale of Bungo Stray Dogs. What a way to end a season in style. Most of you probably know him as a were tiger, so his ability pretty much already involves a transformation. Well then, how about a transformation born of a dream team up with his rival? In the climax, Akutagawa passes him Rashomon, his shadow cloak. What comes of it is a brand new transformation for our hero, one born of the fusion of the two contrasting abilities. Instead of the usual tiger form he usually takes, Atsushi's final transformation in season three is the combination of his and Akutagawa's powers. Next up is Kaz and his transformation in Battle Tendency. So the story here is that Kaz has just come from a grueling battle against Joseph. After jobbing to Joseph's Harmon and having his blade broken in the process, the end seems near for the leader of the Pillar Men. It's time for the Nazis, good guys by the way, to finish the job. Stroheim orders his men to unleash ultraviolet light, but to their horror, Kaz equips a stone mask and turns the light into a catalyst for his transformation. Everyone looks on in horror as Kaz triumphantly stands in the midst of his all the exterminated minions as the ultimate being. Please, you think that puny Nazi beams would get the job done here? It takes more than light shows to finish off an entity of Kaz's caliber. As they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And thanks to those guys, Kaz rises once more with renewed strength. Things go from bad to worse as Kaz, the ultimate being, is born to cause trouble for our heroes. <laughs> Coming in at 7 is a classic, Yusuke's Demon Transformation. This particular moment happened during Chapter Black, where Yusuke unveiled his demon transformation against Sensui. In the final fight against Sensui, Yusuke finds himself in quite a pickle. He's done his best in fighting on par with Sensui, but as their isolated battle rages on, it's still anyone's game. That's when Ryzen decides to show up and take over, giving Yusuke a brand new demon transformation that seriously reminds me of Super Saiyan modes. Doesn't it remind you of Super Saiyan 5 or something? It's a no-holds-barred beatdown galore as Yusuke destroys Sensui with his new powers. Now that's what you get for underestimating the greatest spirit detective in his powered-up form. At 6, we have Eren's transformation in episode 24 of Attack on Titan. By this time, we all know that Titans are pretty much flesh and bones mecha and that Eren, our protagonist, can transform into one of them. That's got to be common knowledge to most fans at this point, right? However, what makes this transformation in episode 24 extra special is the context that surrounds it. Eren finds himself unable to manually activate his transformation. Much of it's caused by the shock of finding out Annie's identity as the female Titan. So due to this, Eren finds himself unable to fight. And let's not kid ourselves, the last time he tried fighting the female Titan, he got beaten so hard he pulled an Infinity War Hulk way before 2018. Luckily for him, he has his pal by his side to snap him out of his doubts. That pal is of course, not Armin, 
but his rage. Remembering his hatred for the smiling titan that killed his mother, Eren finally enters his titan form once more. Determined to finally stop Annie once and for all, he charges the female titan with no hesitation. Before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, KOG Games. Their game, L Swords, a free-to-play 2.5D action MMORPG, which features real-time action gameplay and includes both player versus environment and player versus player modes. This long-running game is about to receive a massive character reboot update that transforms its characters and the way you play them. All characters' base stats will now be standardized, set to identical levels across all characters, and there'll be emphasis on different differentiating each character path by increasing the respective stat that matches. To play L Sword, you just have to click the link in the video description and download the game. The end of a season really felt like the beginning of a new chapter for Tokyo Ghoul. In many ways, it is, especially when you consider that the series ends with Kaneki finally accepting his ghoul half. And during Yamori's torture, Kaneki was finally driven to accept that side he'd shunned for so long. Kaneki finally gains access to a form that fans have been waiting 12 episodes for in the first season's finale. Yamori had created his worst nightmare as Kaneki in this new form dishes out a curbed stomp battle. The torture had broken the former hesitant boy and finally awakened the monster within him. The climactic battle of the awakened Kaneki and Yamori is made better with Unravel, a song with lyrics that seem tailor-made just for this scene. Kaneki ends the battle with a ruthless streak, consuming Yamori's Kagune. <laughs> A little past the halfway mark and we have Naruto's transformation versus pain at number 4. We said rage is the most powerful trigger for unlocking potential in anime, and in addition to Eren we have Naruto as another testament to that. This form appeared when Pain seemingly killed Hinata in front of Naruto, probably one of the most chilling transformation sequences in the series. Consumed with anger, the seal that binds the QB within Naruto begins to unravel and he lets anger feed into the monster inside him, slowly releasing one tail after another. Shit just got real and it speaks volumes that this is the last time that Naruto forced someone while filled with rage. Gotta miss the times when QB was a terrific demonic fox entity. Inevitably, Kishi had to give the QB a personality and some development over the course of the series, but the transformations during the early phase of Naruto really drove home the fact that the tailed beasts are like forces of nature, uncontainable, uncontrollable, and unstoppable. <laughs> Taking the number two spot is Batman, um, Femto. Griffith's transformation into Femto is a key turning point for the character. In the Eclipse arc, Griffith is frankly a shell of his former self, and no sacrifice seems too great when it comes to getting another shot at his dream. With nothing to lose at this point, sacrificing his friends in order to become a demon god's an easy decision to make, and it leads the way to an extremely iconic moment in Berserk, his transformation into Femto. As Griffith transforms, you say that he felt a slight bit of remorse which was quickly cast aside. Everyone knows there's just no turning back from this. This is the birth of a demon god with an army at his core who ushers in an age of darkness. Move over Super Saiyan, we have a cool new Dragon Ball transformation in town, Ultra Instinct. It triumphantly stands atop Volume 2 of Top 10 Transformations. I find it fitting that the new Dragon Ball series would come up with another transformation for our hero. Ultra Instinct's a new power that was first revealed during the Tournament of Power, and it's a form that Goku can access, not at will, but out of necessity. In this case, it's the battle against Jiren that allows him to shatter his limits and tap into this new form. I also find it poetic that Ultra Instinct, being touted as Goku's most powerful form, barely transforms him. Instead of getting his signature Super Saiyan hair or other peripherals, Ultra Instinct 
being simply surrounds Goku in a white aura and whatever transformations the body gets really look tame compared to what we're used to. Honestly, I think that's what makes this transformation so awesome. You don't have to see the power manifest in physical transformations, but you can simply feel it by looking at Goku in this form. With that, we wrap up this list. Just like the last time, I ask you this question. Which one among these transformations is your favorite? Don't hesitate to let your opinions be heard throughout the comments section. If you've got more suggestions for your future content, I'd love to hear from you too. Don't forget to check out our sponsor's game, El Sword. The link's in the description. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time on Vinnytube. Don't lose your